For those of us climbing to the top of the food chain, there can be no mercy. There is but one rule. Hunt or be hunted. Welcome back. Kevin Spacey as the devious President Frank Underwood on the Netflix show House of Cards back this week for a fifth season. Add Spacey's role as Frank Underwood to the list of favorites he's played in The Usual Suspects, Seven, L.A. Confidential, and American Beauty. Two of those performances won him an Oscar. But long before Spacey established himself as one of Hollywood's best actors, he was on stage trying to make a name for himself on Broadway. And next Sunday, in a full circle moment, Spacey will host the Tony Awards. Kevin and I got together for a Sunday sit-down at the famed Sardi's Restaurant in New York's Theater District. I do feel like I'm walking with the mayor of Broadway right now. <laughs> oh yeah, That's hop on, hop off. Welcome to New York. Hi everybody. Where are they going to take you today? On a walk through Manhattan's Theater District, Kevin Spacey looks like a man running for office. Hi, where are you guys from? Toronto. He's had some practice appealing to the public, playing President Frank Underwood on the Netflix hit House of Cards. Is everyone looking forward to House of Cards uh, coming out again? Well, enjoy your tour of New York. Uh, it's a great place. Go see Broadway shows. The 57-year-old always has been a cheerleader for live theater. He won a Tony at age 31 and spent more than a decade running the historic Old Vic Theatre Company in London. Next Sunday, he takes on one of Broadway's biggest honors as host of the Tony Awards. What's the feeling right now? Excitement, nerves? I, I hope they're not disappointed that I'm not James Corden. <laughs> I hope they're not disappointed that I'm not Neil <laughs> Patrick Harris. I hope they're not disappointed in the 14 other people they asked to host before they oh, asked me. So can you give any look into what kind of show it's going to be from your point of view? Song, dance, we know you can do these things. You know, I, I see no reason to break with tradition. Have some fun, poke some fun, do some spoofs. I may even, who knows, put on a very, very tall pair of boots and do you. Born in New Jersey and raised in Southern California, Spacey was a high school actor and the co-valedictorian of his class. He attended the prestigious Juilliard School in New York City before dropping out to become an actor. Spacey's break came at age 26 when he was cast in the Broadway production of Long Day's Journey Into Night, starring alongside Jack Lemmon. I think this was it right here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that picture that very guy. well. That's when background. I was doing Long Day's Journey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's uh, a young I Kevin that's, Spacey. Uh, I was 26. Wow. But it was a move west to Hollywood that made Spacey a household name, with memorable roles in movies like Glen Gary, Glen Ross. Now will you go to lunch? Go to lunch! Will you go to lunch? Seven. Detective! You're looking for me. And L.A. Confidential. I messed something up. I'm trying to make amends. Don't start trying to do the right thing, Boyo. You haven't had the practice? Spacey's role as Verbal in The Usual Suspects won him an Oscar for Best Supporting Actor. The 1995 film's twist ending has made it a classic. The scene in um, Usual Suspects at the end, mm. the big reveal. Sure. And it still gives you chills. What did that role in that movie mean to you in your film career? First of all, it was uh, one of the first times in my career where a director fought for me. Uh, Brian Singer fought for me. And his argument was, I can't have an audience seeing an actor who they know in that role because they're going to keep waiting for that actor to turn out to be somebody. And I have to have it be someone the audience doesn't see anything coming. Four years later, Spacey won the Oscar for Best Actor, playing the lead in the sexually charged American Beauty. Smile! This is my... Her husband. We've met before. But something tells me you're going to remember me this time. Now you're sitting with a Best Supporting and a Best Actor Oscar. And there are very few actors who've ever done that. And you stood on that stage and you thanked someone whose picture is up in this room. I see him over there. Mr. Jack Lemmon. Yeah, that's right. Well, he was not just a co-star of mine. I was very fortunate that we did three films together and one play on Broadway together. But I was very blessed to have met him when I was a young child. And then he became an incredible mentor, father figure, 
incredibly important friend in my life. And I adored him and I miss him. Uh, and there's really not a day that goes by where I don't just try to keep a little twist of lemon in my heart. <laughs> and if he were here, he'd say, pull yourself together, people are talking. <laughs> Right now, people are talking about season five of House of Cards, released earlier this week on Netflix. Spacey plays President Frank Underwood, the downright evil Washington operator who's made it all the way to the White House. I will not yield. Who is Frank Underwood? What does he represent? What does he say about Washington? Frank uh, represents um, uh, ambition, and I think he's a, uh, I've always looked at him as a, as a bit of a chess master. You know, he's about 17 moves ahead of anyone else. And he understands people so well that he can, in many cases, predict how someone is going to react to what he may do or plant or say. Let me tell you how this conversation is going to go. You're going to talk about party loyalty, and I'm going to talk about how weak your candidates are and that you really have no choice. And then you're going to say that your ticket can still win Ohio, and I'm going to say, no, they can't. I've talked to politicians, real politicians, some who say uh, it's just a fantasy and there's n no person like this really. And then others who've said it's, it's closer to reality than you would ever like to imagine. Does the show feel an obligation to reflect the political climate of the season it's in, whether it's the last president or this president? No, we never have. We, uh, we just feel an obligation to be true to ourselves, to stay on the runway that we're on, trying to tell the story that we're trying to tell. It's been interesting that there's been a lot of commentary about, well, House of Cards is going to be boring now. How can it compete with the real world? And it's all so crazy out there that they might as well cancel the show. And I, and I kind of actually feel that we've never been more relevant. I've been around long enough. You've got to be able to do your job. If, was there ever a chance you weren't going to be an actor? No. My mother, literally, was teaching me how to accept an Oscar with a ketchup bottle in the kitchen. <laughs> Thank the Academy. Remember to thank the Academy. My father was a little bit more practical. So he would say things like, you should really, you should get a degree. You should be able to have something to fall back on. And I, I, my mother said, shut up. He's going to win Oscars. The new season of House of Cards is streaming now on Netflix, and the Tony Awards are next Sunday night. Then, for two nights on June 15th and 16th, Spacey will perform a one-man show of Clarence Darrow at Arthur Ashe Stadium, home of the U.S. Open Tennis Tournament in Queens, New York. 90 minutes on stage alone in a tennis stadium. Should be cool. To hear more about how Kevin dreamed up that event and how you can get free tickets, check out our web extras at today.com slash Sunday. And in case that wasn't enough, Kevin also stars in the new movie Baby Driver out on June 28th. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.